Hi, I'm Kelsey Weidman. I'm Jeffrey Tan. And I'm Colin Bromson, and the three of us are seniors in electrical engineering at the University of Vermont, and this is our wireless sensor network project. We are doing our project on the extremely opportunistic routing algorithm, which is an ad hoc, that means self-configuring routing uh, algorithm. The project we chose to explore incorporated the extremely opportunistic routing scheme. In this scheme, nodes are able to communicate with each other and decide and implement the most effective path for each transmission. This path can be determined using multiple approaches through priority tables, proximity to destination, signal strength, and any combination of these. Additionally, the network can be self-healing if a change in the environment were to occur, such as a partial or total obstruction of the path. The topology we implemented used a sync and a source with four remote nodes in between. The source sends out the data packet to all the remote nodes. The remote nodes collect the data packet and begin communicating between one another. Each node has a node ID associated with it. This ID is compared to an internal priority table. During this conversation, each node will communicate with every other node who received the data packet. Once a node discovers it does not have the highest priority, it drops out of the conversation. Whichever node is last has the highest priority and will then forward on the original data packet. As you can see, node 4 has dropped out of the conversation due to the fact that nodes 1, 2, and 3 all have a higher priority. Node 3 has now dropped out of the conversation due to the fact that 2 and 1 have higher priority. Now 2 has dropped out of the conversation, leaving 1 with the highest priority. Now that 1 is determined to have the highest priority, the source sends out a stop bit to all the nodes, telling them to stop the acknowledgement and to now start the transmission. The only one that will do the transmission is node 1 since it has determined that it has the highest priority. Now 1 forwards on the data packet to the sink. So you can see here, this is a conversation that three nodes are having. The one that's staying lit the longest has the highest priority and therefore um, is going to be the last one standing and finally going to be the one that transmits the data. This is a shot of our source node. It sends out a data packet when we strike the enter key. That data packet will be sent to our first cluster of remote nodes and th there they are that is and they both have they have a priority of three and four our IDs of three and four and so when they will have a discussion amongst themselves after they receive that data packet and th three since it has the lower priority or the lower ID number and hi hence higher priority will forward the packet onto this next cluster of nodes and here we have nodes with IDs one and two and they will then have a discussion uh, upon receiving the data packet that was forwarded from three. Um, during the course of their discussion, they will decide that the node one will transmit the, um, uh, will, re will forward the data packet, and that data packet will then be sent here to the sink, which is attached to a laptop. Uh, so I'm using... Right now we're looking at a screenshot from my laptop and this shows the topology of the nodes. It's a graphics program uh, made in processing and what we're actually going to do is take serial data uh, or data from the serial port of the uh, base node and use that to display the path that the uh, data packet took as it moved through the network. Uh, in this next shot we see that um, the data was sent from node 5, which is the source node, and it went from node 3 to node 1 to node 0. Um, the node 3 and 1 had the highest priority in their respective clusters. In this final shot, we have removed, uh, we took node 1 and node 3 offline, so now the, the algorithm had to figure out a different way of moving the data from the source to the sink and went through node 4 and 2. That concludes our video. Thanks so much for listening.